I often see people recommend you switch from side ground to cloudways due to lower pricing or better performance. And then others would recommend the opposite, saying you should switch from cloudways to side ground for ease of use and more features, because the performance is pretty much the same anyways. So which one is actually better? Well, first it's important to understand that Cloudways isn't really a web hosting company. They don't have any servers. They just buy servers from other providers like DigitalOcean, Amazon, Google, Vulture or Linode, set them up for you and attach the Cloudways control panel to that server. So in essence, with Cloudways, you're buying the control panel, not the server. For example, if you go to DigitalOcean directly, you can get a 1GB of RAM and 1 CPU core server for $6 a month, while Cloudways would charge you $11 a month for the same thing just because it comes with the additional control panel, turning your server management from this to this. While this might seem like a straight up ripoff, it's actually still quite a good deal because you're getting to use powerful cloud infrastructure where you don't share your resources with other projects on the same server, drastically improving your website performance without all of the technical skills required to set it up because Cloudways does it for you. On the other hand, SiteGround does have its own servers but the cheapest plans run on shared infrastructure. In essence, they set up one server and rent out small portions of it to everyone who's willing to pay. In general, this is worse for your site because you can't customize anything on the server level, you can't really scale your resources up or down, it comes with a predetermined amount, and you are dependent on your neighbors. Even though its architecture is both slower and less customizable, SideGround doesn't make it all that much cheaper. It's $2.99 a month for the first year and $17.99 every year after that. Keep in mind that while Cloudways allows you to pay monthly, SideGround charges for the whole year upfront. So in my opinion, when it comes to pricing and performance, Cloudways has SideGround beat. And we can easily test that. I've created this website on both providers and ran a GT metrics speed test. Cloudways server responded in 97 milliseconds and loaded the site in 0.77 seconds, while SiteGround responded in 118 milliseconds and loaded in 0.87 seconds. I repeated the test using Google PageSpeed Insights and it confirmed the data. Cloudways loaded in 0.7 seconds, while SiteGround was 0.8 seconds. But I mean, this difference is so small. Like, SideGround scored 99 out of 100 and Cloudway scored 100 out of 100. Obviously, the performance is top notch and it doesn't matter which provider you choose, your website will be fast. But in my opinion, Cloudways allows you to scale on demand, is cheaper and offers that just a tiny, tiny bit better performance. That's why I chose it over SideGround when it comes to raw performance and pricing. But since Cloudways isn't technically a web hosting company, you're not really getting the full package you need for your business in their base price. For example, you would need to buy a website name somewhere else and connect it to Cloudways. So that's another $10 a year. And if you plan to use your website name and server for a professional looking email address, that's another $1 per month per box. Of course, there's no CDN included for free as well. Cloudways expects you to pay another $5 a month for Cloudflare Enterprise. Oh, and a CDN distributes your website on servers all across the world, making it faster worldwide. It's pretty much an essential part of websites these days, as a lot of websites don't target a specific country or location, but everyone who speaks English, no matter which country they're from. With all of these add-ons, Cloudways goes from $11 a month to around $18 a month, and a lot of extra work setting all of these separate things up, since you would need to use the Cloudways interface to connect the domain name with your server using an A record and CNAME records. 
This isn't particularly hard, it's just annoying and maybe confusing if you've never done anything like that before. Like even if you'd like to enable some simple functionality like mobile cache to speed up mobile user experience, you would need to know that in this application settings menu, there's a feature called device detection that needs to be turned on for that to work properly. If you plan to use Cloudways, make sure to follow my setup tutorial that you can find right here to configure everything properly right out of the gates. But on the other hand, SiteGround is a full web hosting package. It's designed to run perfectly straight out of the box and has everything you need and more included in the price already. It's designed in a ready to run type of way where you can go from the purchase screen to a fully designed, optimized and business ready website within hours after purchase. And you won't need to worry about something going wrong or not working because it's all automated and pretty much straightforward. Well, if the performance is so similar and the price is so similar, which service you should go for? It actually depends on your use case. If you already have an existing website, meaning you don't need to purchase a domain name separately, you don't plan to use the built-in email functionality because you're already using something like G Suite and have a functioning CDN, then Cloudways is 100% the better choice for you. Because at that point, you're looking for power and customization. But if you're just starting out and have nothing, but want to have an awesome website without having to purchase things separately, connect and tinker with settings, go with SiteGround. But do keep in mind that these prices you see here do not represent the real cost of SiteGround. It's like a demo or a trial price for one year. These small crossed out prices are what you're actually gonna have to pay for the service. In essence, Cloudways is a modular service you're buying an extremely powerful core server that you can fully customize and control. Everything else you might need comes as a paid add-on that's quite easy to integrate. And SiteGround is a ready-to-run platform that comes pre-configured, but it's pretty much impossible to change and grow together with your website. So it's up to you to decide. Do you want to put in the effort to learn a little bit about website and server management for best results? Or do you want to just set up your website and never open up a single control panel ever again? Personally, I like Cloudways more just because I do have the technical knowledge to make use of it. But if a friend would ask for a recommendation, I would probably say go with SiteGround because I don't want for them to bother me with questions on how does this work, how does that work, and it's just easier to use in general. Anyways, I hope this video was helpful for you, and if you have any questions, leave them in the comments down below. But for now, good luck hosting your websites, and I'll see you around.